welcome back to my channel guys and today we will be creating this crazy eye tunnel effect first we need to create our lightning effect so select the pen tool and create a rough shape now let's change our stroke width to around 10 now under the contents property of our shape layer we will go to stroke and then we will adjust our taper effect now in the animation property of our shape layer we will go to wiggle path now in the wiggle path we will play with the size wiggle and detail properties now let's choose our random seed to around 15 ok let's preview it now in the animation section we will go to our trim parts and then set a keyframe for our start and end after animating our keyframe of our trim path we will now offset our start we will now offset our start keyframe now we will go to our effects panel and then add a glow effect and then we will play with the properties of the threshold radius and intensity now duplicate our shape layer and then reduce the stroke width you can even change the color of the stroke width as you want Now drag and drop our another effect, roughen edges and change the edge type to spiky and then we can change our border and the complexity of our roughen edges. The last effect that we will be adding is turbulent display. Let's change the amount to minus 24 and the size around 200. We can change it later and then we will also change the complexity to around 10. Now copy the turbulent space and then paste it on our duplicated shape layer. Now our lightning effect is ready to use. So now we will start doing our animation. So drag your footage into, a, into the timeline and let's make it a 3D. And under the transform properties, we will adjust the scale and position. Now we will drag and drop our lightning effect that we created and then we will start adjusting its position, rotation. Make sure to convert it into a 3D layer. Now start duplicating it and start adjusting the positions of our lightning please make sure to take your time for this
let's create a camera now let's start animating with our camera create a keyframe for all the, the transform properties Now let's drag and drop our another footage which we want the transition to happen. Make sure it's below. Now we'll create a new adjustment layer. And then we will add CC lens effect and then we'll play with the properties of the size and the conversions. Now let's create a null layer and then select all the lightning layer and the second footage which we just dropped and parent it to our null layer. And then we will also start doing our rotation animation. Now since we want to make it look more realistic, we will create some more lightning effect before the transition to happen. So let's get started. We will follow the same process. So select the pen tool and start creating the rough path. And we will add all the effects that we added. and then just duplicate it and then adjust its position
okay so now it's looking good and for the last we will add a curves effect to our first footage to make it look more realistic to make now for the last effect we will add curve effect to our first footage to make it look more blended and you have your transition ready to use i hope you guys like the tutorial please make sure to like share and subscribe for more contents thank you so much and have a nice day